Jordan and Larry. Um, does that surprise you at all? Or what's your take on just the poise and maturity they show in them? I mean, I mean, you didn't know what they planned for another team, but everybody I talked to in the Lakers organization, you know, B. Shaw, Luke Walton, Ryan West, Jerry West, they all just said that those are two great kids, and they're fearless, and they play hard, and they play well. And, um, you know, Clarkson, you know, taking that big three at the end of the game, like making that big shot and in Boston the same way, making two big threes to open up the game. Like, um, you know, just for those young guys to come in and, you know, an atmosphere like, you know, like this and, and play well, it's just, it's, just, it's amazing. And, um, you know, using guys down the stretch, and um, they produce. And so I'm um, just seeing that. Um, they're going to grow a lot this year. You know, you can uh, start the fourth quarter. Billy went with um, Adams and PG, and you stayed with your bench, including those two guys. How important was it for them to hold that fourth down, actually? It was important. Deep? We did the same thing in the first half. Um, but, you know, I thought Larry was very, very good with Adams. Um, he was active. You know, um, he had he had eight offensive rebounds himself. I know Adams had 12, you know, which kind of kept him in the game on you know, having, you know, 18 offensive rebounds. But, I thought Larry did some great, some great things. Just rolling to the basket, making the right pass, offensive rebounds, great defensively. We was able to switch a lot with him. So, um, you know, we got to keep working. It's going to be a process, but I like what I see so far. What was the best part of the last six days for you? Winning. I think winning. I think, um, you know, going through a tough stretch, you know, just this late in the season about the last few weeks, you know, it's been tough for us. But I think um, bringing some new bodies, some fresh bodies kind of rejuvenated us. And, um, to come out and beat Minnesota, beat Boston, beat OKC, um, three teams that beat us pretty bad the last time we played them, um, it's a huge stepping stone. So, you know, we got to continue to keep working. You know, it's a process, and um, we just got to keep playing well, keep getting better, and hitting our stride in April. Early in the year, we talked about how teams attack you. Um, you have a target on your back and everything like that. With this group, do you feel like you can get back to attacking other teams? I think so. Um, I think we got to get back to being the hunters and not the hunt it. And um, these young guys we have and um, able to shoot, drive, or pass it um, adds a different element to our team. And um, they're playing, playing free, having fun. And um, you know, the biggest thing, like you know, Clarkson finished the game. George Hill during the timeout is talking to him and happy and just you know, Tristan happy for Larry Nance. So that's what we got to have. You want to win, you got to sacrifice and. You know, with our team that we have, you know, whoever's playing well is going to finish the game. So they understand that, and it's all about winning with this group. Sometimes when you have new players, it takes a while for things to come together for these last three games, and then y'all been clicking right off the bat. Why, why was it so easy for these guys to fit in? And I mean, you know, the 25 are not like 19 or 20, so they, they've been around, but they know how to play the game. I think, you know, when you add new pieces, um, if they have a, a good basketball IQ, it's easy to pick things up and easy to play together and play off each other. So. Um, they've done that you know, since they've been here, so we just got to continue to keep growing. What would you guys do defensively to make it tough on Russ, especially there in the first half? I think we just try to keep them off balance. I think um, you know, defensively they only shot 44%, but they had 18 offensive rebounds. And you know, Big Adams had 12 of them. You know, Tristan boxing them out, Bronze boxing them out, everyone's hitting them. But he's just so strong and physical and big that you know, it was tough on us. But I thought Russ you know, being off for some time you know, looked like he was a little um, – out of sync a little bit, and um, we just try to just show him different looks. He's too good, too great to show him the same thing. So we went under sometimes, sometimes we went over the top, sometimes we switched, and just try to keep him off balance because we know any great player, you can't give him the same diet or the same thing. You mentioned Adam's game. What, what have you seen from him since he's come into the league to now as far as how much he's grown? Um, I think now they can post him. I think when he first came in, you know, he's a, he was a rebounder, a bruiser. But now I think even offensively, you know, catching lobs, being in a roll, make a pass out to the corner, and just, you know, being to post him early. I think if you put smaller guys on him or big guys on him, he can post the basketball now. So um, he's really grown as a player. What's your scattering report for Larry Nance in the dunk contest? I don't know. Okay. He's, he's going against three guards. His dad won it. Um, he's a high flyer. Um, he has a lot of tricky stuff, so I um, wish him luck. Hopefully he can win it. Was there any part of you that was worried that Sunday was just random luck? These four guys get together, play one good game, and yeah, now you've think, seen it I twice. I didn't think so, Joe. I, I thought that you know we got guys, like I said, can, can shoot, dribble, and pass, and they can make plays. And um, It's changed our team, and we're a lot faster. And now I think we got a chance to you know, switch a lot of things with our with our size and our length. We can switch stuff defensively. So I, I thought it would be a process. I mean, it's still going to be a process, but on um, the first two games, I mean, I didn't think that we would, you know, not be not, not be decent. But they were 
um, they exceeded my expectations. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, last one. Last yes, one. Well, what's your plan for the All Star game in terms of helping the team get you know better together? What do you think you're going to do like, during the All Star break? What you say? What do you think you're going to do during the All Star the All Star break to help the team getting? Oh well, together? all the new guys they have their iPads and um, our guy DV put it on their iPads and just go over the plays and just try to stay familiar with it. It's going to be hard because you know anybody can look at them on the on the iPad, but. They got to continue to go through it. So they probably forget a lot of stuff we put in, but you know, when they get back, we go back to work and um, continue to progress.